unless I go that way. Why'd you just put that GPU higher? I can't put the GPU higher. It has to be in first love. Oh, come on, man. They don't know that. <laughs> what do you mean they don't know that? Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, normally, we would have the radiator with the ports on top. But the problem is, if we had the ports on top, the tube that runs off of this one goes down and would hit this to go to CPU. But so the only way you can actually avoid that is you extend it about 20 millimeters to go past it to get to here, but you can't cross tubes. Or they don't want us to cross tubes. So solution would be flipping the radiator upside down and having the ports on the bottom and have the pipe the line go up into this but the only problem that I have now is our drain plug is blocked. Daily life of a digital store employee. Dang! Ah. What do you recommend him doing? Whatever you say. What the? <laughs> We've all learned from the master. <laughs> that is very true. What? I'm stuck. It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. Ready? If I try to go, it'll hit into this pipe. And then, even if I go out more this way, just to, just Why to clear Why are you it? going this radiator into there then? What? From here into No, 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 no. This goes out here to the radiator. Radiator comes out, right? And this will go down to the CPU. Mm. Right? So this would hit that. Go from up here. So if I go from there, this line is hitting that. Here. Well, I didn't know you could actually use that. Because it's going to look weird. Well, you do what you got to do. The guy already paid for the fans. So you want to do it from there? You got to do what you got to do, man. Why don't you just turn it around like this? Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with this, though? Okay, so this, right? Uh -huh. when, you, when you have it like that, if I have this line going up to the CPU, I'm blocking the drain point. I can't extend this out more because it's gonna hit the cage. A few moments later. I'm sure you'll figure it out, you're a smart guy. Wait, wait, wait! wait. You're supposed to be able to teach me, man! Alright, so we're gonna go here to here. Mm -hmm. Right? That's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is gonna come out. 90, we're gonna come out this way and just go down and over. Okay, now this way. So this this is gonna go. Come this way, go in, and then up. Okay, now where that's gonna go. It's gonna come over, back, and in. Wait, no, that's not. No, because it has to go to the here. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pull this out further. So your tube's gonna be like right here. Okay. And this way, this gives you enough space to have this to go straight across to here. Ah, uh, Ernie's smart, huh? Oh wow, look, it like pretty much can go straight in too. Oh, also, this is not gonna work because there's a quick disconnect here that you won't be able to take off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just realize that. You need another turning point. 90? Why have so many, man? Well, all these are for these systems. I gotta hide them because all these <laughs> just gonna go and uh. What did you say? <laughs> well, alright, cool. Glad right, we can solve the problem. Thoughts? I don't fail. Ooh. Yeah, wiring? Yeah? No. <laughs> well, yeah, all two. Take this. Thoughts? It looks beautiful. I like the cable management behind it. It's looking like a rainbow, kind of. That's true. No, you know when they put the shutter speed slow and it gets a like a waterfall and it just like has that white streak through it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that right there. That's Once we right get there. the water going. Oh, you should make like a slow-mo version of the water getting oh, put in there. <laughs> and it's just like little waves. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. That'd be sick. Where you going? Wow. Yeah, that, that one I lost. <laughs> that one lost me. Hey, <laughs> spilling it a little bit. Hey, are you doing this? <laughs> I'll flip this table right now. <laughs> Hopefully when I put everything in, it's not leaking.
because all the stuff that you touched, I didn't tighten. <laughs> all right, so now what? You got everything done, basically? Yeah, now to fill everything up. So what's the process for filling up the system? So you wouldn't want to leave the pump dry. So I would fill up all the way to the top, let it run a little bit, let it cycle through the whole system. Then it will start emptying it out. A lot of people just keep squeezing the bottle hard and just making sure that there's a liquid in the pump. But it's better if you just go slowly, turn on and off the system. How many bottles does this thing need? Uh, typically one and a half, maybe. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just you can get away with one, depending on how many tubes or how much tube that you use. Mm -hmm. But since this, this is a special occasion where there's a lot of tubing, it might be one and a half, maybe two. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. What do you think of your masterpiece here? Could be better. But for the time frame that I had, because of back order parts and special order parts, it's the best I could do for what it is. Yeah, LED screen isn't even... What? what? <laughs> you <What's>... must go with... <laughs> what? That's what it is. Hey, hey, I haven't plugged that in yet. Thoughts, sir? What do you think? Damn! Damn! <laughs> like wall of tubes? <laughs> Heck yeah! That's cool. I feel like we could do something with this. It's like a wall. It'd be cool if they're all like angled, 45 degrees or something. Huh? Like all of these are kind of angled. <laughs> oh. Something crazy. What the <laughs> shit? Yeah, something crazy. First of all, I don't think. There's yeah, I'm not doing the work for that. <laughs> if we get the bent tubes, we got 45 degree fittings, right? Yeah, but then you're you're going straight down, right? And then you're going up, so you're gonna have to have more of an acute angle. Oh, 45 degrees the other way. Well, yeah. It's no, four, 45 degrees. It's 45 degrees, it's right? It's 45 degrees. Yeah, so like for this, you can like rotate it 45 degrees, and then for here, you can put a 45 degree fitting. So angles are 45 degrees. Yeah, but then you're not gonna be able to get all tubes like that. You can. I mean, there'll be some areas where it's like, oh, you need a straight and then a 45. Pretty cool though. I guess. How do you feel about it? Pretty good. Good, Mike. My final thoughts? Yeah. With everything white, it would be nice. So initially, when you have all these fittings in, start having your fittings out, you start mapping out your layout, where things you want to be there. What? Or how you want to run your lines. And then you kind of imagine it. And then once you imagine it, and you figure out how the lines are going to run, then you would start adding these fittings in. And then from basically the distance of point A to B, you would just basically eyeball it, give it a little bit of extra length like per se like that and I would probably give it like maybe another half an inch or a quarter of an inch extra because when you shave it off to make it short and too length um, you're gonna be eating a lot of material and obviously if you cut it exactly the length of the tube uh, you might end up being short after a while it gets to the perfect weight that you need and you guys got to make sure these are all straight when you're attaching the tubes some people just tighten by hand but we do uh, these things that are like they're locking tubes so these locking rings have these little teeth on them so they kind of go one way and then obviously the more you pull when they're on the tube the more you pull the other opposite way it bites into the material causing it to not be removed basically like that so when you put on like let's say a cap for one of these you can tug as much as you want but they will not slip out um, other than that you do rinse and repeat for everything else until you get that